go, 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 shawty, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' sip a party like it's your birthday. And you know we don't give a fuck if it's your birthday. You can find me in the club, bottle full of bub. Look, mommy, I got the eggs. I'm getting the taking drugs. I'm in that. Of different things. I'm just gonna show you guys. 
So, I got the Coconut Lime Breeze Chia Enriched Shower Gel from Bath and Body Works. Um, see that? It smells, mm, it smells like coconut and lime. It smells really good, guys. It smells like summer. It smells like summer. So, then I also got the Pure Paradise Body Lotion from Bath and Body. Mmm, this one smells really good, too. Mmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Okay, so I got those, and then I also got these lip glosses from Sephora. The Sephora brand lip glosses, and this one, I don't know. Oh, this one is called Lovely Romance, and it's like a nice pinky pink lip gloss, and I, I hope you can see that. You probably can't, but I hope you can. And that's really cute, and I like it a lot. Um, can't wait to. I haven't opened them yet to use them, because I've been waiting to do this haul, so... Um, I will probably get a lot of use out of this one. And then I got another Sephora lip gloss that is in the shade Under a Spell. And it's like a little bit of a lighter pink, more of like a nude pink. It um, has a little sparkle to it, and so does this one. But yeah, these are really nice lip glosses. And I haven't bought lip glosses in a long time, so this is like a nice little surprise to get the lip glosses. And then I got this really cute um, nail polish. It's the Sephora by OPI, and it is in the color... Turquoise glitter, which is perfect because it's turquoise and it's glitter and it's such a pretty color, guys. I'm literally going to repaint my nails and use this color because it's so pretty. And my sister will probably end up stealing it from me because it's blue and sparkles that she likes. And it's super cute. So then my, my, um, then I got a, this gift card to, um, get my nails done, my, a manicure done at my favorite nail place. That was awesome, too. Because I really like getting my nails done. Not so much for the actual painted part, but just for, like, the relaxation part where they give you a massage and stuff, and you're just, like, asleep. So, that's what I like mostly about it. But then I also got these two little things. I got the Scandalized Rimmel London. Um, it's like a eyeshadow stick crayon. So it's like eyeshadow in a stick, I guess. The color is in Tempting Turquoise. So it's like a super... Super um, blue, like really big, like electric blue, well, electric tur turquoise, I guess. Which I don't really have that much blue stuff, and I am interested in blue on my eyes, so I'm interested to try that out. And then I also got the Rimmel Soft Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Pure White, which is good because I don't have any white eyeliner pencils, and I see like a lot of pure reason people use them on their. Um, on the inside of their eyes to make their eyes look bigger, and I always wanted to try that, so now I can. So some good stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. My friend, my best friend, she, <laughs> we spent my birthday together, and she's so funny, she was like, she kept her present a secret from me, so basically she made me think that she forgot about me, which it's not like I care, it's not like, hey, dude, you need to give me a present, I'm upset. But I was kind of like, I wonder if she forgot to give it to me. Like, not that I care, like, literally, she was trying to do it as a surprise. So, anyways, the next day, I come home from running errands and stuff, and I find that I had a, I had a package from Elf, and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, well, I didn't know it was a package from Elf, actually. It was just, like, this huge package sitting in front of my house, and I was like, oh, I wonder what this is. And so I open it up, and literally all these goodies, guys, she sent them to me, and I have to show you guys, like, a thing or whatever. Now. So, guys, it was so funny because, you know, the little, like, the shipping, um, the shipping, whatever label thing they gave you, but it's so funny, guys, I love, I love her so much, she's like, oh my gosh, it's your birthday, and it's just so funny, because that's, like, our thing, like, you're, you know, the oh my gosh girl, or whatever, so I was like, oh my gosh, what a surprise, because honestly, I don't, and I'm not very surprised very much, yeah, it was such a nice surprise, because I'm not, I don't, I'm not normally surprised by very many things, so it was, like, literally so fun, like, unwrapping, un unwrapping everything. So, basically, these are all my goodies from Elf, and, um, alright, so I'm just going to go through them, I guess. First things first is this thing, and it is the, um, 12-pack of all of their, like, brushes and stuff. This, I don't think this is the... This isn't the studio brushes, it's just like the normal ones or whatever, but like we have pretty much every brush you can need, the angle brush, like a big fluffy brush for your face, like some eye brushes, so yeah, it's, there's 12 in here, as you can see, and it comes in this nice little 
this nice little thing here and keep it handy dandy. So that's awesome because my old my my brushes right now are kind of starting to fall apart and I'm sick and tired of picking the hair off my face. Because you know how annoying that is if you have brushes like I do. So these are super nice and I can't wait to use them. So the next thing in here is the e.l.f. Prime and Lash um, little kit here, as you can see that. It's the Lengthening and Defining Mascara, the Eyelid Primer, and then another Eyelid Primer that looks in a different color. So I think they're both the same Eyelid Primers, or one of them does something different, I'm not sure. But that's what that looks like. So it has the mascara and two Eyelid Primers, and if you haven't used e.l.f.'s Eyelid Primer, it's really good. Um, I've seen things that compare it to the Urban Decay Eyelid primer which I have and I have um, an elf one too as well and I would definitely say that they are that the elf eyelid primer is a dupe for the um, for the Urban Decay eyelid primer so if you don't feel like spending as much money I would get the elf one because it does it works just as well and then next we have this is like so heavy I don't know why it's the baked eyeshadow palette from as you can see, they actually look really pretty. I have yet to open this, but I need to open it to see, see what it looks like. Um, let's see how many colors are in here. It says 10 pigment rich base baked. Let me put this down here. It's falling off my knees. 10 pigment rich baked eyeshadows. So, if I can get it out without. Alright, whoa guys, this is really cool. So, ooh, look at how pretty it is. You guys see that? Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, it's really pigmented, guys. And the colors are really nice in here. Okay, so expect to be seeing a video on this soon because there's a lot of really nice colors in here that I would love to try out. So, you guys will definitely be seeing a video at this in some time in the future. And I root the pack on Next is, there is a, this one's called the Vacation Trio Nail Polish Set, and it's three different nail polishes in here, as you can probably see. One of them is like a mint green color, another one is like a lavender color, and then there's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mix between a pink and a dark red color. See that? Those look really nice. It says mint cream, lilac, and punk purple. So I guess it was a purple. I really like these colors because I don't really have that many greens and I love purple, so can't wait to use them. Okay, so next we've got a blush. It is the Elf Studio Blush in Pink Passion, which is like a super um hmm, so great, a super pop of the like a pink but really really pigmented. If you haven't used this specific elf blush before, not I mean like this type, but if you haven't used elf blushes before, you need to try them out because they're really pigmented and they're really cheap, they're like three bucks, so they're definitely worth it. And they have a couple of different colors, and I have a couple of them, already don't have this one, so I'm interested to try it, but it, they are really good blushes, so. We have two cream eyeliners um, in metallic olive, which is like a really dark green, and a coffee, which is brown. So you can see these. They are both really nice. I have yet to try cream eyeliner, but my Bestie who gave this to me, she is like in love with cream eyeliner, so that's, you know, probably, she's probably trying to get me on the bandwagon here. But yeah, I'm really interested to try these, and I like that she picked green, um, like a dark green, because I have like hazel colored eyes, so this will probably bring out my eyes really nicely, and I don't have any green eyeliner, so it's going to look good, I hope. So, so yeah, I'm really interested to try these, and I'm sure they're going to be like really good, so. Um, okay, moving on, next. Um, this is so funny because I told her um, how much I really wanted a Kabuki brush because, you know, I heard all these things that they're such good brushes and I didn't have one so I was like, yeah, I really need to get one, you know, I need to try it out. So she got me the Elf Studio Kabuki Face Brush and it looks really super nice and fluffy and I'm so excited to use it and, yep, I'm really just stoked. So, okay guys, so I've already tried this out like three times. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, she got me the Elf Studio Acne Fighting Foundation in Buff, and I really wanted to try it because she uses it and she loves it, and so this is what it looks like, and I'm wearing it today, and I really, really love it. Like, I'm going to be making a video or review on it soon, 
but um, it's like really nice. It goes on so nicely, and it and it just looks. I think it looks really nice. Like I don't. I haven't put any concealer on since I've been using this because it just covers up nicely. So I really suggest this product. I like it a lot, and I'm gonna be making a review video, so you'll see that in the future, hopefully. So yes, I already cropped this one open and used it, but. This is the regular and waterproof mascara duo in black. So it's just a, a normal mascara. Um, this side is regular and this side is waterproof. So I like that because sometimes you don't want to wear waterproof and sometimes you do. And I actually cracked this open the other day because I was going to the beach and I wanted my eyelashes to not be, you know, flimsy. Not, not there. So I used the waterproof ones that, you know, they would, I wouldn't also look like a skunk. So next we have the e.l.f. Clarifying Pressed Powder in Honey. Yeah, I haven't tried this one out yet, but it does look nice, so I bet it's going to be good. And it probably will look really nice when it's paired with the um, Acne Fighting Foundation. So, Last, but certainly not least, there is, this was like the special present that, or that came with the package, like, Sometimes you know they throw in extra bonus things. This is it. Actually, I got two of these. So, um, I actually gave one back to my friend who gave all this stuff to me. I was like, take this because it was free and I already have one of them. Basically, it is a pack of all of the e.l.f. Studio brushes. So, I will quickly go through them and tell you what they are. Um, there is the... This is a... Where is it? It's on top of the thing, but I think it's... Um, an eyelash and brow wand, Let's see. and then there is the blending eye brush, then the smudge eye sponge, and then the lip defining brush, pointed one. Then there's the concealer brush, a tiny little one. Then the defining eye brush, which is angled. Probably for like um, doing things. Mm -hmm. Then there's the eyeshadow bluff brush. I was gonna say blush. Eyeshadow bluff. <laughs> eyeshadow brush. Then the eyeliner brush. Then the brow comb and brush. Ooh, I like that one. I use that a lot. Then come the big brushes. The three bigs. The foundation brush, which is, you know, um, more like a paint brush actually, because you're going to be putting liquid on it. The bronzing blush, br bronzing brush, which is angled, which is good. I actually need one of those. And then the total face brush, as you can see, it's big and voluptuous. So, yeah, all those, um, I don't even know how many that is, but those are all the e.l.f. Studio brushes. So, yeah, I thought I was so, like, Alright, I was so blown away by all that. I was just like, oh, I have so much new stuff to do videos with. But, yeah, so I got that stuff. And then also, it was so funny. This year, two people in my family got me little, like, um, mini cakes. Like, those personal cakes, you know? And they were so cute. And, like, both of them were, like, different. But it's weird because, like, not weird. But it's just funny that two people got me that this year. Because I, um, don't, people don't usually get them to me. So, um, yeah, I'll insert a picture, two pictures of what they look so anyways guys I hope you guys like this video I know it's a little strange but I really like doing hauls and I had all these like awesome goodies and people were really good to me this year for my birthday so Yeah, so I am 19 now, and it's going to be a great new year, and I'm looking forward to be making new videos for you guys, and all of this stuff is going to help me do that, make new videos for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy my videos, and let me know in the comments anything that you guys want to see in the future, and today my question is, what is your summer anthem? And I'm going to say that mine is either... Um, probably something from Pitch Perfect, honestly. Either Blurred Lines or... 
perhaps, um, what's that song called? The Night Out, maybe, by Martin Solveig. I'm just gonna go Blurred Lines because honestly, I didn't like that song in the beginning, but even if you try not to like it, you're gonna like it. Like, come on, Robin Thicke, baby. So, yeah, that's my summer anthem song right now. Just because it is so darn catchy, and no matter what you do, you can't run away from it. So, yeah, tell me what you guys, what your guys' summer anthem is, your summer anthem song, and leave it in the comments. And I will be seeing you guys soon, so subscribe, comment, like. I wish I had like little things. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, and I will do it for you, because I love you guys. That was weird. So, I love you guys, and thank you for enjoying my weirdness. Three, two, uno. Thank <laughs> you.